Apart from the upcoming fourth installment of the John Wick movies, the highly anticipated franchise is broadening its universe. As of late, Ballerina, a John Wick spinoff with Ana de Armas, will begin filming this fall. What we can expect from this movie? We'll find out all about this and more in today's video, so make sure you'll keep watching, and if you don't want to miss out on all the latest, filming is about to begin on the next movie, Ballerina, starring Ana de Armas, and set in the same universe as John Wick. The 2014 release of the movie John Wick resulted in its rapid global acclaim, there have already been three John Wick movies and there will likely be a fourth and fifth one as well as a prequel spin-off series called The Continental that will debut in 2024. However, a spin-off movie is also in the works, Anna de Armas, known for her roles in Knives Out, No Time to Die, and The Grey Man, will star in the movie Ballerina. The movie is expected to be released either in late 2023 or early 2024, as de Armas will begin filming next month or so, according to Variety's report. Ballerina will follow a teenage assassin played by De Armas as she extracts retribution on those responsible for the murder of her family. The original John Wick movie's premise is extremely similar to this one, but that isn't the only tie to the series. Even though it hasn't been confirmed yet, De Armas' character was likely raised and trained in the same location as John was. In the third John Wick movie, it is revealed that John was raised and trained to be an assassin in a theater, and as he walks through it, ballet dancers are practicing in one of the theater's rooms. Ballerina will be helmed by Underworld director Len Wiseman and is co-written by John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum and John Wick Chapter 4 co-writer, Shay Hatton and Oscar-winning screenwriter Emerald Fennell. It's unclear at this time if Keanu Reeves will play John Wick in Ballerina. Reeves won feature in the John Wick spin-off series and The Continental according to previous rumor from Deadline, but that's because the show is set before John Wick. Reeves is still supportive and has to read every screenplay or the Continental, even though he won't be on the show, the actor is obviously committed to the John Wick universe, so hopefully he'll appear in Ballerina. In the same interview with Variety, Anna de Armas expressed excitement for Ballerina while also expressing the need to add more variety to the few other action movies she had made recently. The Russo brothers' enormous productions are on the list. Armas portrayed bombshell fierce espionage agents in both The Gray Man and James Bond, No Time to Die. Quote, without me planning on it, I'm doing all this action films and are fun but touching me in different ways, the actress said. I hope that now I can start balancing both things because it has felt very one note. I've done too many together. The addition of ballerina director Len Wiseman and his decision to approach some of the action design from a slightly different perspective, specifically about the set pieces, the character involvement, and how he wants to do during the action sequences, according to the director, Chad Stahelski, makes it feel somewhat new, so they're not just copying themselves over and over again with gun fu or something like that. They will also have a distinct perspective because the character's different, but what about the degree, amount of skill, or manner of action? Well, Stahelski intends to help out whatever he can, and their stunt squad, 8711, will be heavily involved in aiding Len in all of his action-related requirements. Now, let's move on to John Wick 4. What do we know so far about this upcoming sequel? The fourth installment of the action-packed Lionsgate franchise, John Wick 4, starring Keon Keanu Reeves will be the longest, according to director Chad Stahelnski. According to reports, a new episode of the John Wick series will beat the last in every way. Principal photography for John Wick Chapter 4 wrapped up in 2021, with an impressive array of locations including Berlin, Paris, New York City, and possibly Japan. Both Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne, who play the Bowery King, an underworld crime lord, are back as the expert assassin John Wick. John Wick Chapter 4 will be, quote, longer than the other three, but not that long, according to director director Chad Stahelski. In an interview with Collider, although Stahelski omitted to mention it, the first John Wick ran for 101 minutes, John Wick Chapter 2 for 122, and John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum for 131. The future sequel will therefore be at least 2 hours and 11 minutes long, and probably not much longer. Stahelski continued by stating that the video editing of the movie is nearly finished and that it is currently approaching picture look. After a few more weeks of general adjusting, they'll start incorporating the music and sound effects according to Stahelski. Additionally, he mentioned that they adore the music they have so far, and that Tyler Bates is still responsible for the composition of some of the longer sequences. Each movie in the series gets longer, but it also costs more and makes more money at the
the box office, the first movie had a modest budget of 20 to 30 million dollars and a respectable return of 86 million. With a 40 million dollar budget and a staggering 171 million dollar in revenue, the second movie kicked things up a notch. The third was much more expensive, 75 million, yet it brought in an astounding 372 million. Although the budget for John Wick Chapter 4 has not yet been disclosed, the film's distributor Lionsgate Films appears to have increased the stakes once more in anticipation of another huge success. The new actors in the cast who suggest that action in John Wick 4 will probably be bigger and wilder as well are hoping to aid in that. These actors include Bill Skarsgård from It and Eternals, Hiroyuki Sonata, The Last Samurai, Mortal Kombat, Bullet Train, and Scott Adkins, The Expendables 2, The Bourne Ultimate, Clancy Brown, Thor Ragnarok, Starship Troopers, Shamir Anderson, and Hong Kong martial arts superstar Donnie Yen. Ip Mon and Invasion. The premise of the new movie is yet unknown, but a trailer for John Wick 4 from last month teases more of the series' renowned extreme action, as John Wick now appears to be being sought after by almost every assassin on the planet. On March 24th, 2023, John Wick Chapter 4 is slain for release in theaters. In other news, one of Keanu Reeves' co-stars in John Wick Chapter 4 just revealed how he was welcomed a new cast member. And based on what we heard, there's another reason why the lead actor is such a lovable man, are you curious to know who this is? Just keep on watching to find out more. It appears that renowned independent singer Rina Sawayama is making a movie debut, an unprecedented opportunity for the rising star. Sawayama has been cast with Keanu Reeves in the eagerly awaiting John Wick 4. The musician recently discussed working with Reeves and how he embraced the newest cast members into the John Wick universe. In an interview with Variety, the Hold the Girl singer said that Reeves was a supportive presence on the set and gave Eve Sawayama, who had little prior experience working on film sets, behind the scenes counsel. Regarding the well-known action star, Sawayama says, quote, Keanu was amazing and exactly what you think he'd be like, so chill. But he looked after me in so many different ways, very much behind the scenes, not telling me that he was doing something for me, but making sure that it was done. Although him being one of the executive producers means that he had a hand in casting me, so that was really crazy to comprehend. The fact that Keanu Reeves was so accepting of the new John Wick cast and took his responsibility as a mentor seriously shows that he clearly spotted something special and distinctive in Sawayama. Keanu Reeves validated himself as the internet's boyfriend when he graciously crashed a fan's wedding. To the pleasure of the couple, reigniting the internet's affection for him, it's wonderful to learn that Reeves is just as nice and compassionate on set as he is off. In John Wick 4, teamwork was crucial and we're delighted Reeves did all his power to set the bar high for the rest of the actors. The movie was a monumental undertaking that continued the lore establishment of the first three films while also adding something fresh to the action genre and being among the best action films ever made. The film was produced over a long period and it's set in five distinct countries, Jordan, America, France, and Germany. A John Wick 5 and a prequel to the series called The Ballerina starring Anna de Armas have already been planned. The fourth installment of the John Wick franchise, John Wick 4, is the longest one to date since it clearly has a lot to uphold. On that no, we're wrapping up today's episode about the upcoming John Wick Chapter 4 movie. Are you most excited about this film? Let us know what you're excited about in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Watching.